had been the signals for outbreaks of Kremlin-inspired demonstrations. The men in the Kremlin realized that unity in the West would mean the end of easy aggression. Communist posters appeared on walls. Riots and strikes were timed to disorganize the receptions. But a growing awareness of the issues involved was at last beginning to make the people of Europe reluctant to act as communist dupes. The planned demonstrations came to nothing. Summing up his tour, General Eisenhower said, The most immediate need of Europe is munitions and equipment. Every one of the continental nations I visited can rapidly and markedly increase its resistance power if it can be promptly furnished additional supplies of this kind. To fill this need, our loyal neighbor Canada, with Britain and others, is shouldering part of the load. With every increase in strength, there will be an upward thrust in morale, resulting in an ever-mounting spiral of confidence and security. With respect to time, no man can know at what hour, if ever, our defensive organization may be put to the ultimate test. Because our purpose is entirely defensive, we must be ready at the earliest possible moment. Only an aggressor uh, could name the day and hour of attack. In Paris, time was not being wasted. 